Hello for followers and welcome back to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode 78 and in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at hardened clay. But before we get right into that, at the end of last episode, as I said I was going to do, I went caving around the witch hut and I've got lots and lots of things. So as you can see I've got lots of iron there, some gold, a lapis and some redstone there. But perhaps the most notable thing, we now have 14 diamond ore. I mined them up with my silk touch pick. Uh, so what we're going to do first before we get into today's tutorial is actually mine this up with the Fortune Master pickaxe. So just thought I'd show this little snippet on camera and uh, see how many diamonds we get. Look at that number rising. <laughs> so we got 32, which is half a stack, which is not bad, I have to say. Um, probably could be a little bit better. Look at that. Got a lot of diamonds now, so I'm super happy about that. So we can put you away, and I don't think we're going to be needing silk touch in today's episode. So, yeah, now that that's out of the way, we are going to start work on today's actual episode, and that is hardened clay. Now, hardened clay was a block that was added in Minecraft 1.6, and there's really not a whole lot to explain about it, so... Instead of me rambling on about it, we are actually going to do a project with it. But I think first we should show how to actually craft hardened clay. Uh, well, it's not crafted, it's smelted, but you need to do some crafting first. So you need to go out first and collect yourself some clay like we did when we collected the clay needed for bricks, when we did the anvil tutorial, and again when we did the spa. So then what you need to do is you need to take your, uh, your normal clay balls, bleh, words, <laughs> and then you get, uh, if you put four in a crafting grid or in your small inventory, you get a block of clay. Now, there is no distinction between these two, but you need the block of clay. That's really important. So I'm going to go ahead and make a bunch of these. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're making a bunch of them just by putting stacks in our inventory. And now I'm going to split these up to help cook them a little faster. And we are going to put these clay blocks in a furnace. So we're going to put these in the furnace. And there we go. And what happens when one of these cooks up? Well, we get hardened clay. So as you can see, we've got a hardened clay block now. And it has this sort of brownish looking texture. Most people consider it a block used for adobe building and things like that. Um, those sort of western towns and stuff. Very quick to pull up. It's quite blast resistant, I have to say. Um, certainly not the strongest thing in the game, but it's pretty resistant. Uh, and obviously, next episode, we're going to take a look at what else you can do with hardened clay, and that is turn it into stained clay. And we're going to have a project for that too, but I just wanted to break it up and actually make... Uh, the hardened clay first and do a project with that and as you can see I have a bunch cooked up earlier I have also made some bricks and I've got some iron bars which I collected from the stronghold some stone slabs glowstone redstone lamps levers and we're going to make some seats with the stairs and the signs bone meal we're going to need a bit more wool and some birch saplings and what we're going to do is we're going to actually work on an area over here which we haven't done anything with yet so check this out <laughs> this is so much better for getting around actually having ender pearls to maneuver around so this area we never used for anything and it's just got this pathway running here and what we're going to do with it is we're going to build a small park which is just going to have some seats and it's going to have a brick wall and we're going to make the pathway through the park out of hardened clay so we can actually uh, use it because I think it looks pretty good for a, a pathway type material and it just breaks it up from the wood and the cobble now I don't have everything I need yet I'm going to need some more wool and I'm also going to need uh, some birch saplings as well and I'm going to have to get the remainder of that hardened clay from my furnaces do I have any wool? I do. That's plenty of wool. Uh, do I have the birch saplings, though? I don't think I will have any of these. Do I have a saplings chest? A bunch of my item frames got deleted for some strange reason. I'm not sure why. Um, I wonder where I even store those. Do I store them in here? 
Nope. That's, that's the hose. Nothing in there. That's the potatoes. No, I, I've just seen the... No, I don't. So I'm going to need to go and get some birch saplings as well. And once I've collected all my equipment together and got that clay, then we can actually start work on today's project. So stay tuned, and I will be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm over here in the project location. I've got everything I need for the project today all together now, and I've just made a basic layout here with... Uh, all the bricks that I need to form the basic outer wall so I think the first thing that we need to go ahead and do is actually make that we're going to make the wall of the park first and we're going to use normal brick blocks for that because I think that these look pretty good and it's typically what I would associate with a park wall so let's get these bricks down there we go all the way around and two here as well and then we want to add kind of some highlights to the thing. So we want to do one here and then leave a gap or two. I'm getting some frame rate issues. I'm not sure why. Is no V-Sync's off. I don't know. <laughs> and we're going to leave a gap of three right here. And then we're going to keep doing that with these bricks. Yeah, I'm getting some heavy frame rate issues. And I'm not entirely sure why. Ah, well, we'll worry about that later. We just want to focus on the project for now. There we go. So if we keep doing this, as you can see, it forms a nice wall. Now this one, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do with for now. So I'm just going to leave that for the time being. Now we want to put in our fence gates, like so. And we're going to do the same over on the other side. And we're also going to finish up the bricks here as well. Then we want to get some iron bars, and we're going to put iron bars in all of these gaps. This kind of forms like a park wall, and we need more iron bars, so let's fill these in. Oops, we need to collect that back. There we are. And to cap it off, we're going to use some stone slabs, like so. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's head back up here and we're going to keep doing this all the way along until we have put all of our stone slabs in place and then we will work on the actual clay pathway so there we go almost done just got another two so okay so that's now done too um, as that kind of runs nicely into the river, lake, whatever you want to call it. And now what we want to do is start work on the hardened clay pathway. Uh -huh, that rhymes. Ah, uh, dear. What's down here? Oh, there's a cave down here. I was not aware of that. I've lit it up, though, so I was aware of it at one time. <laughs> so the idea here is we're going to create a sweeping sort of pathway through this area and kind of make it turn accordingly and we're going to have to do that. I've got some dirt now so I can also do a bit of gap fill in here and the idea is I'm going to make it turn and then flow into that gate on the other side. That's the aim at the moment to try and do that. So in order to do that though we're going to need to kind of orientate ourselves in the correct way. Um, that's not looking too bad. Probably want to do that though. I think the, the same for right here. Just to give us that little bit more room. It needs to look walkable. <laughs> so now we need to start thinking about trying to sort of turn if we can. So I'm just trying to sort of dig out a basic pathway at the moment for what would maybe look good. Let's try and widen that out a little bit. And let me fill this in and see what it looks like. We're, we're a bit wide there. I'm going to get these back. So let me put some dirt in there. 
it's sort of turning. Uh, it, it's not perfect yet, but we can we can kind of work with that. How's that? How does that look? Mm, I think that would look better. So we've kind of got the basics going on of a pathway now. I'm going to put that down, I think. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. I'm still a bit unsure on this, though. Um, let's put you here. Yeah, that seems more of a, a better transition. I'm going to start and integrate the pathway more towards this gate before we make a final curve at the end. I mean, I can always adjust this off camera if I need to. That's not a problem. So we're just kind of seeing what works at the moment. This is experimental. I have a rough idea of what I want to do, but it's nothing concrete at the moment. I just want to kind of see what works. So... Now the gate is right here, so in order to make this work, we're probably going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to intercept the lake somewhat, but not too much, hopefully. Let me see, we've got that, and that, and that, um, could really do with making it a little wider if we could. Give it a bit more of a beach there. And I think we've just about got it. Honestly. Let me see. Yeah, that's it's workable. That's not too bad. I think that a two wide path is better than a three wide path. I think that would make it too big um, and bulky for this sort of small area. Yeah. I uh, may go with that though. No, I don't like that. I think that's what I want to go with. So now it's about decorating out the park and I think the first thing that we need to do is get some trees growing. Got a nice birch tree there. I'm thinking of having one in this general area too. And let's get that. I wonder why that's not growing there. Strange. Trees have become very weird in the way that they work. There we go. Ever since they changed the bone meal, trees seem to be inconsistent. I'm just going to go and sleep as it's getting to be night time now. And I also want to pick up some shears anyway. And I'm going to show you why I need shears. We don't have any. <laughs> I don't have any iron on me either. Dang it, where did I move my shears to? Maybe they're in the wall chest? No? Well, I can't show you what I was going to do because I don't have any iron on me. Uh, but, I was going to use shears to get some leaves. And I was going to put some glowstone in the top of the tree because it looks nice. But unfortunately, for some reason, I am with a shortage of shears. So I can't do that. And I'm not going to go all the way back to my home just to pick them up. Although we do have the ender pearls, so I guess we could. And it wouldn't be too bad. I keep still thinking that I have to walk the whole way back now but I don't because I have an ender pearl yeah this is this is the way to go oh <laughs> I just knew that was gonna happen there we go I suppose I could have used the gate but I'm going ender pearl crazy at the moment so hopefully I have some shears down here let me see did I move them in this chest no. Well, we can always go make some more. Let me, let me pick up some more ender pearls because we're going to need those. And I'm also going to get myself two bits of iron. We're going to make ourselves some more shears. Because clearly I don't have any. Here we are. I've got some shears. That's everything we need at the moment. Let's head back over to the building site. Good day, Alfred. <laughs> It's coming along. I quite like it. There we go. Already back at the building site. And what we're going to do now is we're going to get on top of the tree. Not the other side of the tree. On top of it. There we are. 
and we are going to use the shears to take out the top leaf. We're going to get the glowstone in our inventory, pop the top log out, and then put glowstone in its place. And I think that looks pretty good. And we're going to do the same thing for the other tree. And when it comes to night time, you will really see that this comes to life quite a lot. And by the way, the world download will be available in the description if you want to play around with this yourself and experiment with the clay or anything else that we're doing today. And you'll be able to see that at night too. Okay, I'll put the birch leaf back, get our dirt back, and we can get back down under, underneath there. And we've got some trees growing now. I think next I want to put in some seats and just kind of have a basic layout for what I want to do with seats. Put one there maybe and we'll have maybe a couple near the beach area that we've got going. Maybe one there. Maybe not there. Um, well I guess there could work. Although I don't really like the way it sort of touches the clay like that. I don't, I don't really like that as much. I don't want it against the wall either. Um, but if I, mm, if I do that, it's going to make it three wide. Oh, this is so difficult. <laughs> there, that works. That looks pretty cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to get some signs and we're going to put these signs on the either side to make benches like so that's kind of I'll finish the rest of those off later and craft up a bunch of signs and we also wanna think about integrating a better lighting system than torches which is why I have this black wool we're gonna put lamps on the top of it and hopefully that will provide enough light to light up the whole thing and we're gonna put lamps on top like so. There we are. And I'm going to break underneath this and I'm going to get myself some levers. And that won't work, will it? We need to place it on the top of the block. Now eventually I'll probably hook these up to a daylight sensor, but for right now I just want to kind of get the, the function there over the sort of looks and effects that it, it gives. So... Let's do that and put that there. And we're going to be changing these anyway. We're going to be changing the black wool with some stained clay next episode. But for right now, I just want to get the basic layout down. And that's not the project for the stained clay. I have a bigger project in mind than even this one. So now we can take out the torches. Get rid of those. And now the remaining bone meal we're going to use to make this into an actual park and we're going to put some tall grass down and so forth in this area make it nice and pretty there we are really coming to life now put in a bit there but there I've got three left is there anywhere desperately that needs it I'm going to keep the front of the chairs free and the sides of them as well yeah I think that looks pretty good uh, probably a bit in that corner and I think we've pretty much nailed it. Um, very simple project, didn't take very long to do at all, but I think that the effect that it gives is pretty nice. The only question mark we've got is this at the moment. And I think I'm going to just do this. And yeah, I think that's going to look pretty good. So now we need to, I guess we could craft up the remaining signs. Let's just go ahead and do that and finish that off. I would like you guys to see the finished product today. So let's get back in here. And I'm going to put some signs here and here. I'm going to have to do this for all the remaining benches. Am I going to still not have enough? I've got three left. How many benches have I got to do? Oh no, we'll have enough. Just. Just enough get rid of these it's kind of I don't want to encroach in the path too much flowers are not so bad but tall grass it can make things look just a little messy so I'm just gonna kind of 
remove some of that so it doesn't look so kind of tatty and there we go that's the uh, hardened clay pathway in the new park that we have built right here now obviously the grass is going to spread over time where there isn't any like there and you know it's gonna kind of complete itself almost but I think that we've got basically everything that I wanted in place now and I'm very happy with the way it's turned out um, we do have one extra and I'm thinking for that maybe there perhaps because I think that we put enough light in to the point where most of the park will be lit up or lit up enough so I'm thinking I think right there is the ideal place for it though I'm not really sure where this would be best mm, maybe there to sort of light up that back area I'm gonna hold on that for right now and just see where's dark and then I'll probably integrate that remaining one wherever it's dark and I'm possibly thinking this area so I think that that's gonna be just about it guys um, that was the hardened clay park and in today's episode we've looked at how you craft hardened clay and we've shown a, a practical use of it you could use this in building some houses or whatever you really want it's entirely up to you I just wanted to show you how to craft it and a cool little thing that you can do with it and we've come up with this fun little project as well. So in the next episode, we are going to be taking a look at stained clay. Uh, we're going to be using this hardened clay to create some stained clay. And we're going to be working on another big project, which is a bit bigger than that one, uh, in the next episode. And we're going to kind of finish this area up next. That's the, the big objective then. And I think at that point, we'll probably move on to looking at horses and that stuff because we've done a lot of building recently the blaze farm the ender farm this next episode as well so there's been a lot of stuff go on to do with building lately and i think that you guys would probably prefer some adventure so we'll get into that very very soon so i thank you for watching guys i hope that you've enjoyed today's episode and i hope to see you next time so until then see you later and have a good day